Welcome to Mindset Mondays. I'm Tracy Fines, a real estate investor, also known as the Flipping Queen. And I am really um, happy to see you here today. And I, I can't wait to share with you some really great info. Today I'm gonna to talk all about gratitude and how being grateful can really change your life, actually. So about, uh, I, know I've, I know I've spoken about my mentor, uh, my coach, uh, who helped me with my gratitude journaling and meditation. And I'm gonna to touch on it again. And this started for me, I would say about six, seven, seven years ago, possibly. And for me, it, she, she said something to me that really, it really has changed my life. She basically said, okay, um, we really need to work on your mindset and so that you actually have, um, you know, using the law of attraction to your benefit and getting, getting rid of that saboteur that, um, you know, can sit on, sit on your shoulder and, 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 tell, and, and be a naysayer uh, telling you, you know, you, you don't deserve that or you're not good enough for that or, you know, you, you, you don't have the skills to achieve that. So... Um, working with my mindset coach, she not only got me meditating, which has, uh, I'm not going to talk, you know, specifically about meditation today, because this is really, um, I really want to keep talking today about the gratitude, but this has a really, it, it actually, it actually brought me joy into my life. And, and there was a dark period in my life where I had just had twins and I don't know if I had postpartum depression or, or what I had or just like, you know, motherhood overwhelm or um, who knows what you, whatever it is you want to call it. Um, but my coach at the time and mentor, she, she actually got me into meditation and gratitude journaling and gratitude journaling will change your life. So here's my. This is my uh, journal. It's just a little black book. I have some loose papers in here, little notes that I take uh, and I carry around with me just so I can read them once in a while because sometimes you know you want to keep putting the same thoughts into your into your mind. But it it's basically uh, looks like this. And what I do is every day I write at least three things that I'm grateful for. And If you cannot write an endless list of things that you're grateful for, then you are not thinking very clearly because I can name like a hundred things right here in this room. Like, like just in this picture alone, like I'm really grateful for this, this blind behind me because it allows the camera <laughs> to see me. You know, I'm really grateful to the artists who did my renderings over here because they communicate my projects so easily to the neighbors. And I'm really grateful for this peace sign, which my daughter didn't want from Restoration Hardware because I love Restoration Hardware. And I'm really grateful that it's actually hanging behind me in my office because it just makes me happy. So there, I just like named three things in this picture that you're looking at. So easy. And so every day I, um, write three at least three things and and sometimes they just spew out of me uh like crazy right like you know it, anyway it's totally easy thing to do do not overthink this i can't say i can't stress that enough okay you do not have to overthink this it's simple i am thankful you know i just bought this nice necklace i'm so thankful that I have this beautiful little like necklace with this T on it because that's my name, <laughs> my initial. <laughs> um, so it's really simple stuff. Uh, I don't want you to overthink it, but I want you to do this every day because once you start to resonate, and this is an energy, um, this is an energy that I'm talking about. When you start to resonate in the frequency of gratitude, it's like the highest, it's one of the highest forms of, of energy, just like love. So what resides in the heart is, is gratitude, wisdom, and love. 
and this is the highest uh, frequency there there is. It's like the biggest attractor frequency too. Um, you're going to attract like things. So do you want to attract things that are full of uh, love, wisdom, gratitude? Well, hell yeah, you do. <laughs> Who doesn't want to attract love, wisdom, and gratitude, right? People that are grateful for what they have. Like You want to be around people like that. They're joyful. They're happy. And that's what gratitude journaling has done for me. Not, not, not just gratitude journaling, but that is a big part of why I go through my life feeling flipping amazing. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like one of the happiest, uh, most positive people on the planet. I really uh, can't stress it enough that doing such a simple little exercise um, every morning and, I, and this this forms part of my morning routine the 5 a.m. club I know you've probably heard me talk about the 5 a.m. club and I will not ever stop talking about the 5 a.m. club okay because it has taken my successful career and 10x it um, and so part of my um, 5 a.m. club routine is my gratitude journal, which I have been doing for, for quite a while. Uh, but now it beca it's become like, it's become even more intensified by all of the other uh, rituals and habits I have formed. And when you form really great thought habits, uh, you can be like a super, super, super duper attraction machine, attracting more and more amazing stuff into your, into your life. So how many of you would like to have that super, super duper attraction ability to get all the things that your heart desires? How many of you here would like that? Well, hell yeah, I know you want that. So please take this simple, simple step, get yourself a journal and just um, get up early, okay? This is the time for personal development and personal growth. And you've heard me say it so many times, when you develop yourself personally, you build your net worth. Your net worth grows when you personally develop and grow your net worth personally or your net worth develops and grows okay and i'm going to explain the connection here when you grow yourself personally and you you create great thoughts by by installing new habits into your life you create great thoughts those thoughts become things and things that are um, attracting other things. And so when you have a positive mindset that you've created through your habits and your thoughts, <laughs> you're utilizing the law of attraction the best. And when you utilize the law of attraction, guess what happens? You get the things you want. So do you want money? You want love? You want great health? What is it you want? You want amazing friends, friends and relationships? You want a beautiful home and a beautiful car? You want nice things? It's up to you. You are the creator. So when you have the use of the law of attraction, you get to have and create whatever it is you want. And when you are living in gratitude, which is one of the highest frequencies, highest energies there is, you're attracting that high energy back to you. And all the great goodies uh, come at that level, that high attraction level, which means that your net worth is going to grow. 
is you're now being able to use the law of attraction um, for whatever it is you want. And I think that is pretty darn magical. And I hope you rewind this uh, presentation and listen to this again, because this is gold, Jerry. This is gold. <laughs> like you, you want to understand this and download all this information um, that I'm sharing here with you, by the way, which was taught to me through my mentors, my coaches, uh, reading books, although I'm not much of a reader, I listen to a lot of books. And my Bible being, drum roll please, <laughs> the science of getting rich. It's magical. We are the creators is what I want to say. And you get to create the life that you want. Study that book. Listen to it over and over again. I just press rewind. I just press play, like repeat over and over again on my audiobooks with the science of getting rich. And I just listen to it over and over and over and I will continue to listen to it over and over and over again for an indefinite amount of time because um, it works. And I now am experiencing a really magical, miraculous time, I call it, in my life where I'm actually um, uh, resonating at such a high frequency that I feel that I am manifesting, I am witness, I am a witness to my manifestations coming true in front of my eyes. So it's pretty magical time, miraculous time in my life. I have been honing my habits for the last two years since I started getting up at five and that's part of the 5 a.m. club. And it, there's no official, there's no official club. You're not going to get up at five and, and announce it to anybody. That's not the point of the, of the 5 a.m. club. The 5 a.m. club is about getting up and spending uh, about three hours every day um, on personal growth and development. And that's the wee hours of the morning where your family is basically not bothering you for anything. Your kids are asleep. So for me, it is a beautiful personal time of, um, you know, in order to hone my skills um, as a thinker. And you really do need time to think in the morning. Um, well, in, in, in the day at some point you need time to think. Um, and this is the perfect time for me to take out my gratitude journal. And maybe I'll just read you something here. Um, <laughs> I'll just, I'll just, I'll just tell you what I said today. And I always, I always start off in my gratitude journal. I'm so thankful and grateful. Um, some expert I was watching who has some, I guess, uh, ability to hear angels. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to scare you too much with my, uh, you know, this talk about angels and, and stuff like that, but I do believe in guardian angels and I do believe in, you know, people, um, looking at like angels looking out for you. So she said that she had this, she has this ability to, um, hear them see them i'm not sure exactly but she's she said to me uh not directly she this was in a, in a show she was doing she says they like it best the angels do if you say uh you're thankful and grateful so i thought well whether it's true or not it couldn't hurt right just to add in the thankful stuff so i said okay i'm just gonna add it in i'm so thankful and grateful to be fun and joyful. <laughs> am I fun and joyful, guys? Yeah, I think I am. So, um, 
when you when you say you're grateful for something, you get more of it. And it's attracted to you. So you like like 10x the great 10x the joyfulness, 10x the the um, fun fun part. So that's me. I'm so thankful and grateful to be fun and joyful. Okay, next one. Uh, I'm so thankful and grateful to use the law of attraction. <laughs> I guess I knew what I was talking about today. So, um, oh, to my benefit. Sorry. I'm so thankful and grateful to use the law of attraction to my benefit. I'm so thankful and grateful to always find and see great opportunities. I, how perfect is that, right? I am so thankful and grateful to always see great opportunities. Always find great opportunities. Like that just summarizes it kind of in, in a really easy way. Like, So you're going to have great opportunities being attracted to you. And then I, um, I also, I also do a lot of, I do other things in my gratitude journal too. Like I do a lot of, uh, creative thinking. And so I just want to show you some pages in here. Um, like I have, sometimes I have like a bubble chart of this is going to happen. Like, well, financing, <laughs> financing is generally at the top of my bubble chart. <laughs> so, um, you know, at, a, at the top of anything that I want to do, like when I'm an, I'm an investor in real estate, so I always need money and I always need a lot of money. Now I know how to make a lot of money with, with money. So I don't have a problem leveraging myself up in order to do uh, on the next property. Cause I know that you know, it's just going to, it's just going to create a higher net worth for me. So, um, so yeah, at the top of my charts, usually there's this thing right here called financing. <laughs> and then it goes down to buying a property. Uh, oh yes. And I'm filming, a, I'm filming my pilot, uh, TV show. I'm starting actually Wednesday this week. So, you know, and it's, it's here, like, you know, this is, this is something that's been manifesting for a while for me. So this television show, so I'm actually starting to film, uh, on location when, uh, this, this week. So it's amazing. Cause this is, this is going back quite a ways now already this bubble chart, but anyway, um, you know, and you can see that things kind of develop from that creative time in the morning where you get to just think. Do planning, thinking, what is, you know, what's the chain of events going to be? I'm going to be, uh, you know, I'm going to start here and then I'm going to like get to this. This is where my goal is. And so I write, I, I make those little charts sometimes. Sometimes I'm doing little, um, I'm going to show, I'm going to show you, or I'll have to describe it for those of you that can't see this. You know, sometimes I do drawings, little uh, plans. Oh, there's a pool. Oh, it's like a really cool looking pool, sort of like a, a zigzag pool. Uh, so it's a cre it's a creative thought time, you know, being, um, early, early morning, being up, uh, before sunrise and, um, I go through, you know, my affirmations and it's, it's actually going to be in my TV, my TV pilot, it'll tell my backstory about, you know, the whole mindset training and how important it is. But, um, it's, it's the gratitude journaling is part of that 5 a.m. morning routine. As is um, going outside and walking and, 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 and declaring to the universe what I, uh, affirming to the universe what I, what I do, what I am, how I am, uh, what I have. Uh, those are affirmations that work for me. And I, and I know that, you know, maybe you're gonna sort of pick and choose what works for you but I'm, but I share, I share with my students in, you know, cause I have a course that I, and I'm a mentor and, um, I, I share my routine in the morning and you're going to customize it to suit you best. But all these tools are, these are all like, these are all tools in my toolbox. So you're going to have tools for your toolbox, but this is a great way to start. If you don't have any of these 
things that I'm mentioning, you can at least take mine and, and use my tools, you know, and then maybe you're going to customize your own tools and how what works best for you. But this is what's working best for me right now. And part of my morning routine is 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 honing my physical body. So taking care of my uh, fitness and being fit, um, putting the right materials into my body to build my body not break it down this is a green drink just greens quite bitter <laughs> um, so that's part of my morning routine and then of course the gratitude journaling and I and I, I know I'm highlighting the gratitude today and so that is for me um, key and I will most likely not stop doing this. Um, here's some more doodles and drawings of houses and things that I would be considering doing. Being a real estate investor, a, a lot of my thoughts are going to be on houses and properties and uh, the things that I can do with them. And so that's what my gratitude journal looks like. All right, I hope I have inspired you to take action in your own life. Go out today, get a journal and, and start to um, write down at least three things every day that you're grateful for and you will get more of them into your life because like attracts like. This is a universal law and I, I know this is a real estate um, subject matter uh, presentation but at the same time you need to be able to attract great things into your life and that's why Mindset Mondays is key for you to be here and be listening to the tools that I'm using and what's been working for me and you're gonna you're gonna customize that to suit your life so I hope this has inspired you today and I thank you for listening and I can't wait to speak with you at the next um, presentation, which is going to be uh, flipping Thursdays, and I will look forward to sharing more about flipping houses with you then. Bye, everyone. <laughs>